Welcome to the seventh and final module of this course. In this module, we will focus on maintaining action on health system priorities while supporting an emergency response. A health system is not one program, facility, service provider, group of practitioners or agency. It is not contained within the government or non-government health service providers or donor partners. It consists of all of these components and more, each of which links to the others to create a health system. A health system stretches across a country to promote health, prevent disease, collect data, identify risk factors and health priorities, set standards and provide health services of acceptable quality to the entire population. A health system must be sufficiently robust to meet the needs of rapidly growing population groups at a time of urbanisation, despite disease outbreaks and various other shocks that a country may experience. During a health emergency, it is easy to become distracted by the immediate need to respond to a crisis. It is important to continue to consider the health system as a whole and not allow some programmes to lapse or lose resources while all attention is drawn to the emergency. At stake are, for example, vaccination programmes, maternal and child health care, health promotion, non-communicable disease programmes, domestic violence programmes, funding for health facilities, etc. These programmes and policies must continue to operate throughout the crisis for the good of the health system and for the health of the general population. Given their roles, parliaments and parliamentarians have opportunities to continue to bring broader health system issues into consideration and highlight areas of possible neglect. Parliamentarians have very different contributions to make. They bring their own experience and credentials to parliament and can employ various tactics to ensure the focus remains on supporting the health system and its priorities. Some preliminary considerations. What is the current status of a given vaccination programme, health promotion activity, planned rollout of women's shelters, arrangements for homeless people, etc.? What effect does any new proposed law have on women and vulnerable groups such as children, people with disabilities, people living in poverty, homeless people, etc. What is the source of newly allocated funding to address the health emergency? Is that funding being diverted from other programmes? And if so, which ones? Options for parliamentary action In your constituency, Observe any interruptions or barriers to health services occurring during a health emergency and inform the proper authorities. Advocate for the inclusion of continuity of service in any preparedness planning. Ask questions in Parliament and in parliamentary committees about the status, progress, funding and so on of other health system priorities unrelated to the health emergency. Lobby senior ministers the Minister of Health, and others with the power to keep other health priorities from being ignored. Use both traditional and social media to draw public attention to the area of concern. Let's recap what we have learnt. A health system consists of all of these components and more, each of which links to others to create a health system. A health system must be sufficiently robust to meet the needs of rapidly growing population groups at a time of urbanisation, despite disease outbreaks and various other shocks that a country may experience. Parliaments and parliamentarians have opportunities to continue to bring broader health system issues into consideration and highlight areas of possible neglect. Vaccination programmes, maternal and child health care, health promotion, 
non-communicable disease programs, domestic violence programs, funding for health facilities and policies must continue to operate throughout the crisis for the good of the health system and for the health of the general population. Here is a question that you can ponder over. Which opportunities do parliaments and parliamentarians have to bring broader health system issues into consideration and highlight areas of possible neglect?